Hey guys, what's up? It's the Crazy Dev. Welcome back to part three of our random terrain generation tutorial. Again, like I said, though, this is part three, so if you guys haven't watched any of the other ones, um, you won't have any of the code we currently have. So I highly recommend going back and watching those ones so you actually like have the resources we need to get this working. Anyways, guys, um, so today, part three, we're adding block placement and the destruction of blocks. So basically, we'll be able to move our cursor around and it'll snap. We'll have a little cursor that'll snap to hold these blocks and we can click and swap between which block we want to play so yeah also i'm not sure if i showed this but recently i added a broadcast called when i receive clear and we just delete this clone we'll just be using this later in the video i thought i'd mention it because i don't think i added that on camera so yeah so anyways let's jump straight into this so let's create a new sprite here i'm gonna say paint and i'm going to upload a costume this is off camera here this is just a little outliner it has a size of two six it's the same size make sure it's the same size as your train is so my train 16x um but size is 200 so that really means its pixel size is 32x so my outliner though is 16x so i can just scale this up to 200 and it's 32x as well basically just make it so this isn't like same pixel scale as your terrain or else it won't actually outline it um, I'm just going to call this like crosshair and uh, not hate hair. Don't, that doesn't need a capital. So, yeah, anyways, that's our shape. So, let's go one green if I clicked. I'll zoom in here and go forever. And I'll go forever. We're going to go to. And what we need to go to is um, we grab a round, divided, and multiply. I said those backwards, so it's fine. So basically, see, so what we need to do, okay, is we need to divide mouse x by 32, round it, and then multiply it by 32. Like so. And then put duplicate this, and then swap the mouse x for mouse y. Basically what this does is it'll take our mouse y, divide it to 32, then round it, and basically we'll get our mouse cursor's closest position to our mouse position on 32 pixels divided and all that stuff. It basically just gets the closest position our mouse centers to. And then does that. It makes it, turns it into 32, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Anyways, if we just start this, it'll automatically work. And as you can see, it's snapping to our grass blocks. Now, make sure your terrain generator, when it starts generating, starts on a position that is divisible or dividable by your pixel size. Or else it won't snap on. Everything will be offset. So if I come over here and like tell my thing to start generating at like negative two fourteen instead of twenty four, hit play. As you can see, everything's offset. Well, if I set it to negative two twenty four and hit play, everything's connected because negative two twenty four is divided by thirty two. Anyways, let's create two new variables called mouse x and mouse y and we're going to set mouse x and mouse y to our x position being that we snap to the grid if you wanted you could just set them straight to this value the rounded mouse x and stuff but i'm just going to use x y position because it makes it shorter so now we can um actually easily access where the crosshair is and this will be um i recommend making these for all sprites because we're going to use this later so yeah now one more thing is we need to create another variable called mode for all sprites as well. Um, so this mode basically will will tell us if we're placing, mining, what block we're placing. So let's say if I'm being at my train, come to my costumes, my grass on uh, one, my costume one is my grass costume, two, three, and four. So if mode is equal to one, then that means we're placing grass. So let's make a little custom block here and I'm gonna go key to mode and with an input of key this doesn't need to run with the screen refresh because this is like a really short thing this is just going to save us from making like millions of if statements so i recommend not doing run without screen refresh that'll just take more processing power for such a short thing that takes seconds or not even seconds but so go define key to mode and what we'll do is we'll go if key space press put we put the take the key input we did and put it inside there so if key key pressed then set mode to key. 
then we can come over here and go one grief I clicked forever you could probably put this inside of this one but I'm just gonna put it separately because this can get pretty long and I'm, I have a total of four blocks in my thing so I need five and what we'll do it'll go zero one two three and four clean this up and if I pull up mode here and play as you can see as I hit my keys it swaps to the ones I hit so if I hit one it goes one two to two three to three and four to four if I hit zero it goes to zero now zero is going to be our mode where we're destroying and mining blocks so yeah so that's all we have to do in our crosshair you can probably I'd keep the mode open so you know what kind of block you're placing and you can come over here so first things first we need to create a new variable called last frame terrain so last frame terrain and this will basically um i actually make this for the spread only basically what last frame terrain will be is it'll save the terrain from the last frame that we loaded everything i'll explain it in a minute so let's go when if i clicked and we'll set last frame terrain to the terrain then we go forever and we go if last frame terrain and we'll go not equal okay so if last frame terrain is not equal to terrain then what we do is we'll broadcast clear that uh, broadcast I was talking about earlier which just just deletes every single clone inside of terrain we broadcast clear and then we run load terrain and then outside of this if statement but still inside the forever we go set last frame terrain to terrain and basically what this does okay is it basically each time this runs so forever runs every frame so basically it, this thing runs the first frame then it sets our first frame to a terrain to terrain and then the next frame so if terrain is basically different basically if the terrain list changes it runs our load terrain function that's the easiest way to explain it is if our terrain list changes our it runs load terrain so up next we need to come over here and what we need to do is go when green fly clicked forever and we need to go if mouse down but this need to be in so if uh also not okay so if mouse down in mode is not equal to zero is basically what we're doing so if mouse down and mode is not equal to zero so if mouse down mode not equal to zero then we'll go add and then we can come over here and just duplicate from our add things you could actually probably just duplicate this whole add thing try it away put it there nice okay so basically inside of this we just need to swap out the x position with mouse x mouse y and then swap costume for mode so yeah, so basically what this does is if we're not in the mining state, it'll add one whatever block we're placing in its coordinates to the terrain list. So I can hit clean up here. And it'll automatically clean stuff up. I'm just gonna put this below here. And yeah, okay, so now we need to do one more thing, this will all be working. So come over here and I'll go when I start this clone. Okay. And I've written this stuff down so I can remember it. Um Look at here. Okay, so when I when I start as clone, we'll go forever, and what we need to do is grab two ands, put them inside of each other, because we need to check three statements. So we go if and insert this and. So if um ah yes okay, we can go if uh, x position and y position is equal, or mouse x and mouse y are equal to x position and y position of this clone. So if mouse x mouse y i can zoom out a bit if mouse x and mouse y are equal to x position and y position and mouse down so basically if our crosshair is over and they're selecting this block and mouse down then we're going to delete uh delete hashtag item of and then just come over here to our train and then just copy this and we don't need to change anything just copy just the operators we don't need um the whole orange thing so basically what we'll do is we'll delete the item in our terrain list that 
this clone is basically. So basically, he goes through and deletes X position, Y position. Yeah, so basically, deletes itself from the, our terrain list. Um, so the reason we do this might be like, okay, well, we didn't check if mode 1, 0. So basically, yeah, this can run even if we're just placing a grass block here. And that stops from blocks overlapping. So basically, this no matter what, if I place a block on top of another block, it'll delete the block that was automatically there. So no overlapping happens, and you don't get hundreds of clones. So yeah, so if I come over here, and I run this now, as you can see, I'm in mode 0. If I click this grass block, it deletes itself. And I can just delete all these blocks in here. But if I swap the mode, let's say 3. That's F3, not 3. If I swap to mode 3, and I come over here, and I can place and replace all this stone here, and I hit mode, uh, I go to mode 2, I can place all this dirt. And as you can see, there's a split second sometimes when you place some blocks, you can see a little flash, like, like that. That's like just showing you that um, uh, that's a good sign that the overlapping is not happening. Anyways, sorry. So I can place all these blocks and stuff, and being that we um, uh, uh, I can even go to mode four and I can place myself some diamonds. So if I come over here and I remove all this stone, I can like, bam, add some diamonds in here, or make a whole diamond or world or whatever. Um, yeah. So anyways, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Just about like four or five blocks of code. Not super long box of code either. Um, so yeah. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing or liking. Um, if you liked the video, at least the liking would help because it helps push the video to other people. Uh, yeah. And you guys have any other ideas on what we should add to this random terrain generator? Please let me know because I'm kind of running out of ideas. Um, I'm going to hopefully start posting more on this channel. Um, everything might not be Scratch related. But if you guys do want Scratch tutorials, I could post some more if you guys want. This is channel though, I just want to say this channel is kind of just programming in general. I'm probably going to start doing some devlogs on games I'm programming. Uh, so if you guys are interested in like devlogs, programming stuff, consider subscribing. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.